developed by Rogue Entertainment and released by Velocity Incorporated in 1996, Strife, also known as Strife Quest for the Sigil, made its name in the most unique of ways. Not only was it the last commercially released standalone PC game to utilize the Doom engine, but it was also part of a hybrid genre of gaming. Technically, this game was not just a first-person shooter. It was also considered a role-playing game due to the potential for character customizations and for featuring interactive non-player characters. Critics praised these innovations and the story, but also criticized the graphics and the outdated engine. Long after its release, the game was considered to have been underappreciated in its day. Some years later, an enhanced version of the game known as Strife Veteran Edition was developed and published on Steam by Night Dive Studios in December 2014. Initially, Strife was being developed by Cygnus Studios for its software. However, Cygnus Studios was already working on another project called The Second Sword, utilizing the older Shadowcaster game engine. Regardless, id Software proposed that Cygnus Studios create a new game based on the Doom engine and requested that the studio move to Texas from Chicago while they developed a separate project called Raptor so they could still develop the new title for id Software. The studio agreed, and upon relocating, no longer wanted to work on the second sword. Thus, the title was dropped in favor of working on Strife. Cygnus Studios worked on Strife for a few months following the completion of Raptor. Unfortunately, internal conflicts arose and employees mutinied against Cygnus Studios' founder, Scott Host, forcing him to relocate back to Chicago, and Strife was effectively canceled. The mutineers then founded Rogue Entertainment and continued the development of Strife, the shareware version being released on February 23, 1996, while the full version was released in May of the same year. Strife's gameplay is typical for the FPS genre, the action being observed from the protagonist's viewpoint, and most of the game involving combat with members of a group led by the main villains known as The Order. The game contains various friendly or neutral NPCs with which the player can converse or trade. These characters often have missions for the player, and upon finishing them, the plot progresses. Similar to Hexen's hub-level design, the central town of Tarnil acts as a home base from which the player can travel back and forth between various areas. The game is set some time after a devastating asteroid impact, which brought a deadly virus onto the planet. The disease spread, resulting in an epidemic which led to the deaths of millions of people. While surviving victims were mutated and began hearing the voice of a malevolent deity. Hello, everyone. My name is Retro FPS Gamer, and welcome to Strife. Now, the first thing you may notice is this is not like the original Strife, some of you may remember. Uh, this is the Veteran Edition, which is available on Steam. It's also available on uh, GOG or GOG.com uh, for around 10 bucks. So that's where I picked it up. I picked it up on Steam. It's just easy to install this way. It's fairly hassle-free with the exception of a few settings here and there. Uh, and overall, it's less of a headache, so I can get right into this and uh, actually play this and see what the game is like. Uh, I did a few tests earlier, a few recording tests, and I gotta say, it looks promising. Um, also, I don't quite know, but I might have it on high res mode. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, because if you go to, I want to say it's gameplay settings. Where is it? Uh, classic mode. Okay, so apparently classic mode means that the game will behave as much as possible like the original Strife Quest for the Sigil, even including some bugs. Now, I don't want the bugs, but... I would love to play it with the original textures, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that that happens because I played it on what I thought was classic mode, I enabled it, and it still looked the same. So I'm not entirely sure what to think. Uh, regardless, I just want to let you guys know that ahead of time, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dive right in. Also, I do apologize if this recording quality turns out a little less than uh, what you guys are used to. OBS Studio had an update come out recently, and that's what I used to record, and it kind of uh, foobarred all of my... Uh, original settings and I had to tweak things and get them back into shape. So we'll see how this turns out. Let's hope it turns out well. Hi! What do you do? Do you shoot me? Ow! You do! Why? Ow! Why? Who are you? Stop it! Can I get a gun or something, please? Ah! Okay. Wow, alright then, um, how do I respawn? 
Hello? Load game? Ow! Well, I'm getting out of here. Forget that. Oh, they're everywhere! Can I get a gun, please? I don't have a gun. Oop, oop, toxic waste. That's bad. Well, this is interesting. Just start right off in the action. Open the door, please. Ow. Hi. Release me. Leave an old man alone. Okay. See you later. So, a few things about this game. For one, it has a lot of RPG-esque elements to it, which I love. Um, ow. That hurts. Okay. Oh, I don't know which way to go. I guess I go up to the right? Yeah, I go this way. Um, which, anyways, that is actually really cool. Which means this game will probably be a lot more fun than I expect, because it means there'll be a nice lengthy story to this uh, that'll be worth following versus a lot of games back in the day. Okay, that door doesn't open. Hi! What do you do? Please don't hurt me. Okay, I guess I won't. I don't intend to. I, I just wanted to talk. Um. Anyways, yeah, so this could be a lot of fun. It could be quite the lengthy let's play. Is that a guard? That's totally a guard. I don't want to talk to him. What's in the tavern? Hello. Ooh, are people drinking? Hello, stranger. I haven't seen you around here before. Let me give you a piece of free advice. I'd be careful if I were you. The order does not tolerate free will, and their justice is swift. Oh, let's see. We could do what's the word or buy. Ah, what's the word? The word is, the sewers hold more than just rats and robots. That's, that's all you know? That's literally all you know? That's, okay, well, that's dumb. Hi. Acolyte. Uh, I'm not interested in your useless dr Okay, wow. Bye. Rude. I'm not sure, but sometimes I think I know some of the Acolytes. Okay, bye. That's random. Hello, can I talk to you? Oh, there we go. I wish sometimes that all these rebels would just learn their place and stop this nonsense. Thanks, bye! I love the responses. It's like, I'm polite, even though people are being really derogatory. Can I take this drink? Are you gonna, like... Beat me up if I take it? No? Can I not take it? I guess I can't. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, friends. Please don't hurt me. Why is everybody so, like, afraid of being hurt? I mean, I guess I am walking around wielding what looks like a dagger. And I'm swinging it about. Still, though. What do you do? If I had wanted to talk to you, I would have told you so. Well, okay, then, Captain, uh, Jerkfaith? I'm not interested in your useless drip. Wow, why is everybody so rude? Ooh. So, I don't know... Once again, I don't know whether or not this is on high-res mode or not. Um, this was created by Night Dive Studios, and they did a, uh, a texture re-skinning that allowed you to have dynamic lighting and windows and things like... Or not windows, wow, that was stupid. Dynamic lighting and um, cloud effects and stuff like that that were previously unseen in the game in the past. Uh, so, I don't know, but I don't know what the case is right now, but regardless, I mean, these torches look cool. Woo! Hi. I'm kind of a talent broker for the Rebels. A guy who is as good as you can make a lot of gold, if you're hooked up with the right people. Well, you already sound interesting. I'm Your interested. Choice. The Order's sanctuary by the river is their unofficial torture chamber. Hidden inside, there's a golden chalice. You swipe it and reap your reward. Ooh. I get to be like Indiana Jones. How am There's I supposed to do that? Bow. Just aim straight and splat. Remember, grab the fancy cup and get to the tavern. Cool. I'll get it. The fancy cup and get to the tavern. All right. I don't... Wait, where was it? I actually don't remember now. What are you waiting for? Bring me that chalice. Bye. All right. Oh. Well. Oops. Should I be carrying this around out in the open like this? Probably not. So I guess there's a golden chalice somewhere. Uh, is it M? How do I get the map open? I don't know. <laughs> Hi! This looks intimidating. Now, if I shoot these guards, I'll probably alert the rest of the town to my presence. Why not? What's life without whimsy? Hi, fellas. Hi. Watch your step, peasant. Okay. Can I can I go in here? I bet I can't. 
Hello. Oh, I, I guess I can. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Hi. You don't have the key. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I need to find my way around this place anyways. I'm not really... Even if I knew where to go, I wouldn't know where to go, you know? Hello? Hi! How may I assist you? Um... I don't have any money. I have, what, is that eight gold on the bottom right there? See you later. Okay, well, see you later. Wow! It's like a little hospital. Ooh! I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's back here? Oh, never mind, just a door. It is a hospital. Quite a literal guess. Norwal Prison. Ah, home sweet home. I presume. I'll help you if you help me. Five pieces of gold, and I'll tell you all I know. Well, I don't have the gold, sorry. I, I might have the gold, but I don't feel like giving it to him, because I feel like this gold could come in handy in the future. Something tells me it might. Power station? Ah, I'll wait. Oh, I don't have the... I can't get into prison? That's ironic. I'm a peasant who can't get into prison. Hello? I love the music. I love the atmosphere in general. This is very cool. This is very RPG-esque. What's this? Or is it just... That's just a water sprite, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Doesn't seem to work. Hmm, weird. Hi. Oh, it's Singa. Nothing here. Okay. Let us continue. Yeah, I could see this turning into a really in-depth playthrough series. This could be a ton of fun. Walk away, boy. Just walk away. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Jeff? The name like Jeff. Why you gotta be such a jerk? Jeff the jerk. That's what you're gonna be now. Uh, nothing up here. Okay. So yeah, this I guess is the town of Tarnhill or Tarnell, depending on what side of the tracks you're from. If you're looking to hurt me, I'm not really worth the effort. Okay. I don't have the key. I don't have the keys for nothing. I can't believe that I got stuck with this duty. They say that something evil came out of this sewer gate. Now I get to stand here until it comes up again. What gate? The sewer overflow gate. Is it this? I don't have the key. Hmm. Ooh. Pretty pretty. I don't know the key. That's dumb. Hmm. Hi. What do you do? You there. Nobody's allowed in here. Move along. Okay. That's why I'm exactly... That's why I'm going to do the exact opposite of what you just said. Oh. Didn't have... Oh, never mind. I don't have a key, apparently. Or the door doesn't work. Now, I believe I came from this way. Seems about right. Was it over here? I think it was up here. No? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Does this not work? Is this not an elevator? Okay. Hello? Man, I'm already lost. It's been like 10 minutes. And I'm already lost. I am an expert navigator. Ah, here we go. Hi, fellas. Boop. Oh. Ow! What is- oh, that's a turret! It's a little thing on the wall. I have no crosshair. This is gonna be interesting. I have 12 health. Oh! And two arrows, and that's it. Uh, well, I guess I have no arrows now. Ow! Running, 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 running. I can't get out of here! You're in the way! How am I supposed- to okay. How am I supposed to get out of here? I can't just... You have incredible aim. I can't, like, avoid you. Is there, like, a Molotov? No, I only have a Shiv. Ow! Backstab. Backst... Oh, okay. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt a lot. I 
I know I can get him. Just don't know how. Well, that's useless. And I'm dead. Right? Three, two, one. I have two health. Yeah, okay. Well, this is stupid. Ow! Stop it. What? How do I get out? So I'm supposed to be trapped in here in an infinite death cycle, or what? This is stupid. Alright, well whose brilliant idea was this? Am I supposed to use the barrels to my advantage? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have... Oh, it would probably help if I actually use the health kit by pressing the actual buttons to do so. We're going to kill you. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, bye. Yeah. I got out. I made it out. Okay, so I gotta go this way. There we go. And I gotta go down here. And then go into the tavern. And then go to this guy up here. Where was he? Was he upstairs? No? I think he was over here. Yes. Hi. I'm kind of a talent broker for the rebels. A guy who is as good as you can make a lot of gold. Okay. Good choice. The order's sanctuary, sanctuary. by the river ah, is the that's where I gotta go. torture chamber. I gotta get into Even the sanctuary. Inside, a... Wait, actually, I should have spoken to him. Good choice. How am crossbow. I supposed to do that? Cool, I'll get it. Okay. Now that I've managed to somehow escape, I actually don't know how, because that really seems like a really stupid design for whatever that is that I spawned into. Okay, so the sanctuary is right there. And this guy is chilling. Hi! Nobody's allowed in. Okay, bye. As far as you know, I'm not gonna go down into the river and then sneak into your sanctuary. Don't look at me. Alright. Perfect. Picked up the med patch. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, nice. Fell into a new area. Let's see, I, I have eight arrows. Oh, shoot. That was probably a bad decision. What am I supposed to do? There we go, I got one. These guys take a lot of arrows. Oh, there we go. More arrows. Perfect. Med kits, arrows. Beautiful. 41, I'll take it. Right at the top of the stairs, right? No? Whoop! Perfect. Alright, so far so good. Now I gotta find that golden chalice. And it's right here. Now, from actually playing around in a private uh, practice match kind of ordeal... Ooh, a new weapon. I actually kind of know a little bit about what to expect in this area. I don't know where the enemies are going to be, but I know a little bit about where the weapons are going to be and where a few medkits are. And I think I remember how to get in there. I, it was a switch of some sort that I have to find. It may have been... It wasn't this. I don't think it was this. No, it wasn't. Okay. But that tore down these bars, or pulled them down. And then this brings up a path. Now, I gotta find... So this brings up a little path over there. Now I have to... find that switch. Probably should be running everywhere instead of walking. Um, how did I get down there? How did I... It wasn't this way, was it? It was. Okay. And then you go across this way, and then over here. Perfect. Hello? Right above... Oh, no, he's not going to be on the elevator? Okay. Thought he would be. Come on. And right at the top. Bam! Ow! Ow! Perfect. Although I have 57 health, so I'll probably use one of those health kits. Well, anyways, I think I have an extra weapon I picked up. I thought I did. Hi, what do you do? I don't want any trouble. Stay away from me. I've had enough trouble with what that bastard Harris did to me. He promised me... That rhymed. Interesting. Uh, he promised me money. Instead, I get to look forward to being questioned by the programmer. Interesting. See you later. <laughs> 
My character has no interest in helping you. I picked up 10 gold, though. So I have no idea how to use my health button. Hello. Oh, you, oh that's a big dude. Hello? Hi. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, shoot, that hurt a lot. I used the medical kit? How did I do that? That's odd. Ow. Do I keep using the med kits? That's strange. I'm using them a lot now. Is it glitched? Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Oh, never mind. That was easier than I thought. Um, this is the button, I believe, that takes out that little green force field. There we go. Got some armor. Perfect. Nothing here. So yeah, apparently there's a uh, multiplayer, there's multiplayer capabilities uh, in this game. You can actually create a server and uh, play this game against your friends, which I did not know. And I don't like the sound of that alarm. And where was it? Was it up this way? And in the multiplayer, yes it was, in the multiplayer um, ordeal, uh, what's it called? The multiplayer, uh, I guess, version of this, or whenever you play online with your friends or on a, la in a LAN party, um, this is the area. You just spawn in, like, this prison. Or, sorry, this, uh, sanctuary. And then you start here, and I guess you just go balls to the wall and go crazy and shoot each other? Not really sure. But you end up spawning in this map, is what I'm saying. So that's kind of why I know a little bit about this area. Okay, so what we don't want to do is go out that door. Unless it might be easier. Because it could either... I could either go to this river again. Go out here... And the guards may have an advantage, because I'm, I'm just assuming that the guards know that I've stolen something. And they're going to shoot me when I leave and go out here. Or I could go out through the door and there's one guard out here right in my face. I could shoot him. And then I'd be at an even or equal um, ground level, or an equal footing, I guess you, you could say, quite literally, with the guards. Ah, let's go through the river. Let's see. Uh-oh, I see a dude patrolling. This could be bad. Oh, I actually have no choice but to go through the door. I just forgot. There's no ladder to get me up there. Okay, well, here we go. Hi! You're dead. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Oh, that's bad. Whoops. I used the medical kit. Ow! These guys have incredible aim from such a distance. Granted, I do too at the moment, given that there's no arrow drop or bullet drop, whatever you want to call it. Am I cheesing these guys? I sure am. Oh, I have no arrows left. Well, that was smart. Um. Ah! Uh, I don't know what to do. There's so many of them! Holy crap! Okay, well that was unexpected. If I have to start over, I swear. Okay, cool. I start here. Thank you. Let's go for it. Screw it. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yep. There's so many of them! Ah! Come on. Come on. Yeah, wow. Um... Okay. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Maybe there's a weapon in here I can find. Okay, well, I am not at all sure what to do. Um, I was going to give the guy the chalice, but it would seem that that's not entirely possible at the moment. So, for now, I'm just going to call it a day on this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. And if you guys haven't, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And special thanks to user Wayne Burgess for recommending this game to me. Granted, it's difficult at the moment, but I'm sure it'll get a little bit better once I figure out how to take care of this incredible mob. Uh, regardless, thanks again, guys, for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next week for more adventures in retro gaming.